Hello, in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you how to reset your Internet Explorer. Um, this can fix many different problems with your uh, with your uh, Internet if pages aren't coming up or if you're having other issues. I'll start from scratch and we'll get it all sorted out. So first thing is make sure there's no browsers open. Um, if you want to be certain of that, um, go into your processes by right clicking Task Manager, Processes and just look for something called iExplorer. I'll open one up just so you can see it. If you see anything, if you click image name up at the top, it'll sort it by name. Um, just kill anything that's iExplorer if you don't have anything open. As you can see, if I close them, they go away. So once they're all closed, what I would do is I would open up Internet Explorer. I will copy the home page, okay, just so that I have that for later. And then I'll go to the advanced and I'll hit reset. I'll delete all the personal settings. Hit reset. I'll go through. Once it's done, I hit close. I can now open up Internet Explorer again. Paste my home page back in there again. I'm going to apply that. Just waiting on it to apply. Now this browsing history here, there's something I want to show you in here. Under settings, there's view objects. Okay, now in here, you want to make sure that under status, there's nothing that's... Uh, that's not working. It'll say, um, I forget what it says. It says something along the lines of damaged, I think it says. So if there's anything that's damaged, just right click, say remove, and that'll remove it. The only things that you technically need in here um, at all is uh, Flash, uh, Adobe Flash or Shockwave Flash, depending on what version you have, and Java. Java is uh, ultimately important, otherwise, websites won't view properly. So once you've confirmed that, uh, go over to security. If uh, you can click the button, reset all zones to default, click it. It's uh, fine to do. Uh, as well as here, uh, for your privacy, click default. Um, if you don't have it, it's fine. Just click to the next one. Um, under autocomplete, just delete all autocomplete history. Okay, put a check mark in everything. Say delete. Okay. Put a check mark in forms. Say OK. Make sure everything has a check mark in there. All right. So once you've done that, go over to uh, Connections. Make sure that there's no checks in anything in here. Um, if you're using any form of proxy, this is where you would do it, but uh, most people don't do that. So just hit OK. Make sure there's nothing in there. Uh, last but not least in the programs. Um, make sure that you re-enable Java. Okay, look for it. There's all of these are all Java based, but what I always tell people to do is look for Sun Microsystems. Okay, you want those enabled. Everything else, everything else can be disabled. So if you go down the list over here, yours might be a little bit different depending on what version that you have, but um, you know if you just make sure that everything else except for uh, again ja uh, Adobe Flash can be enabled. Um, and uh, the Java should be enabled. Uh, those are very important. Um, but other than that, that will completely reset your Internet Explorer. Um, the last thing is uh, Advanced, Reset Advanced Settings, and then Apply. Say OK, but you do have to open Internet Explorer. So now open up your Internet Explorer, and the first thing you'll see is this Welcome to Internet Explorer. I'm using the newest one, which is 8. Uh, it's March 19th, 2010. So you click next, use express settings, finish. That's it. And then you'll never see it again. So don't keep clicking close on it. Actually go through it. It takes no time. Bring up a little Internet Explorer 8 advertisement. If you want to change your search options up here, just click the little arrow next to it. Find more search providers and click on whatever you want to add. I always like Google. Make it my default. That easy. Um, I don't like the the favorites in here, like the uh, the quick sort shortcuts. So if you right click on a blank area of the screen, you can uncheck whatever you don't want or what you do want. Sometimes it'll be just like this without the menu. I like the menu bar, so always keep that in there. But uh, once that's done, you're basically set up. That's all you have to do. That'll fix a lot of problems with Internet Explorer. Um, a lot of people like Mozilla Firefox. I do too. Um, but Internet Explorer, easy things to change, that will fix everything. Um, there's other minor things that it might not fix, but that'll fix a vast majority of Internet problems that you're getting. I usually recommend doing that anytime you get a virus. So if you get a virus, always reset your Internet Explorer, delete all your temporary net files, and uh, 
that'll be it. So that's it. Signing off.